Ayan na. Ready na ako. Okay, so good morning everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, good morning. Is my audio clear to you guys? Yes, ma'am. Yes, oh. Okay, so for today, we're going to continue our lesson. So last time, um, we talk about the comparisons to and enough using rules, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So for today, we're going to talk about um, comparisons to and enough again using examples. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's have our recap first. So what are the rules? in um, using the comparisons to and enough. So, what are the rules? Ma'am? Anyone? Yes, Anthony? Ma'am, those rules are two plus adjective. Two plus mm. adjective, then? Yes, ma'am. Two plus adverb. And plus adverb. adverb plus enough. Adjective plus enough. Enough plus noun. Okay, so those are two plus are adverb. The... Yes, ma'am. Yes. So the rules uh, of comparisons to and enough are two plus adjective, two plus adverb, and for the enough, adjective plus enough, adverb plus enough, and enough plus nouns. So let us now proceed to our lesson for today. So I want you to look at this picture. So, tell me what you notice about this picture. Russell? Ma'am, can you repeat the question? Oh. Oh, what do you notice in the picture? Um, they are watching the TV. Yeah, and they are watching television. There's a girl and a boy or a man here in the picture. So, they are watching and there is also a... Anthony, what do you call this one? Can you see my cursor? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a box, ma'am. Yes, it's a box. And there's something here also. So, um, this a conversation shows an example of the to and enough. Okay, so would you please read the girl, the girl in the conversation and the bo um, Russell and the boy will be Anthony, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Ma okay, so let us start with the girl, Russell. Okay, ma'am. Could you help me move this box, please? It's too heavy to lift. Could you bring me the pen from that shelf, please? It's too high for me to reach. So you can notice in this um, conversation, the girl is asking the boy to help her to move the box. But the boy um, answered the girl with, it's too heavy to lift. Okay. It's too heavy to lift. So, um, um, in this sentence, it's too heavy to lift. We can see the to, the yes, word to here in the sentence. Okay. So, to and heavy. So, what is the heavy here? So, heavy is a adjective, right? Yes, yes, so two plus adjective. So we can now um, say that the rule is um, used here in the example, okay? So in, the, um, in this second um, conversation, could you bring, bring me the pen from that shelf, please? So the boy answered, it's too high for me to reach, okay? So it's too high. So again, two plus. Adjective, adjective, which is high. high. Okay? Do you guys understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next. Okay, Russell, please, will you please read it again? I want to watch the news. Turn the TV on, please. It's too late for the news. Make me a cup of coffee, please. I'm too tired to get up. Okay, so... In this, you can see um you can see the word to again, that is used. 
it's too late for the news and I'm too tired to get up. So what do you notice? The girl is keep on asking her boyfriend. Maybe boyfriend. the boy here is her boyfriend. But then the boy keeps on uh, what? Declining, the... declining the request of the girl. Yes, so yeah. So in this um example of conversation, you can use the two plus adjective or two plus adverb, okay? The rule here is use, okay? Next. So, in this, um, in this activity, on the next slide, I want you to um, look at the picture and um, I will give you a scenario. And I want you to um, make a sentence out of the picture or the scenario I will give, okay? Is it is okay, it um, clear? Yeah, so yeah. make a yes, sentence. Okay, first, make a sentence using to and enough in the given scenario and picture. So the first picture is in the grocery shop. So there's a um, man and a woman in the grocery shop. Maybe they are um, buying some stuff. And also, what can you um, make? So, what is the conversation that can be made in the grocery shop? Anyone? Ma'am, I think po, okay, it could be, I know, the girl is asking if, was this enough food, enough for the whole week? Okay, so it can be. So, again, will you please re uh, repeat the sentence? Was this enough food, enough for the whole week? Yeah, so was this food enough for the whole week? So the girl, um, you can you you use the um noun plus enough. No. Yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So okay, Anthony, how about you, Anthony? Um, I think, ma'am, based on the pictures at this slide, we can make um. Will you please hand one of those fruit? It too, f uh, it's too far for me to reach it. Okay, so you you use the too far. It's too far for you to reach it. So very good. Um, another example of that is just wait a minute. Yeah. So another example is. Um, is my money enough to buy all of this? Okay, so when you're in the grocery shop, you're asking yourself sometimes, right? If your money is enough to buy all your all your needs, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and maybe when you enter the grocery shop, you can say that it's too crowded in here. So there are lots of people in the grocery shop. Next. In a meeting or office. Okay, I will give an example first, okay? So, for example, they are in a meeting. So, is this good enough? If it's too, if it's good enough for their project. Okay, so another example. Um, how about... Um, Anthony. Uh, I think they are thinking too much, ma'am. They, they, are, are, they thinking are thinking too much. Too much. Okay, maybe. Because they are in the office or in a meeting, they are thinking too much. They are thinking yes. a lot of things about, about their time. project. Okay. Um, um, how about you, Russell? Ma'am, since they are in a meeting, um, it could be, um, it is too silent in here. Yes, because they are thinking too much like what Anthony said. So, it is too silent in the office. Oh, another example is, is our budget enough for this project? Wouldn't be it too much for us to cater it? Okay, so you can use the word enough and too. Okay, so is our budget enough? For this project, and also, 
wouldn't it be too much for us to cater it? So, it is good that you can um, make a sentence out of the picture or a scenario. Next, in a race. Or for example, I'll give you an example, example first. So, he ran too fast. Maybe um, this number two, girl number two, is saying that number seven Ran is running too fast. So, he ran too fast. Uh, how about your example, Russell? What do you think? Ma'am, I think they're in a, um, in a field. So, I think it is the oval is too slippery to run to. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so that's a good example. The oval is too slippery to run to because they are maybe uh, maybe in a race, um, it, it rains, okay? So sir, in race, there's a rain. So the oval is too slippery to run to. How about you, Anthony? Mom, based on the picture, uh, they are all running together, and it said it says that in a race. So I think the sentence was accurate. Uh, it's, it's accurate. It's, I don't have enough air to finish the race. Okay, I don't so have I, enough air to finish the race. So I don't have enough air to finish the race. So that's a good example. Next. Inside the restaurant. So first, I will give an example. First, okay. Um, um, maybe it's um, um, the girl is asking the waiter or the waitress, um, is this dish enough for two? Okay, so I use the um, noun plus enough. So is this dish which is noun, enough for two. Okay, so do you guys get it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, how about you, Anthony? Um, I think we can come up with a sentence based on the picture, like, we have enough drinks to get wasted tonight. Yes, we have got enough drinks to get wasted tonight. That. That is a good example. Or, um, how about you, Russell? Maybe, ma'am. One of the um, person in the family is thinking if it is too early for the desert. So dessert. Dessert. Okay, it's too. It's too early for the dessert. Okay. Another example is maybe. Um, the restaurant is too, too crowded, so it's too crowded here. We will take this out. Okay, so that can be an example. So um, I think you can easily um, make a sentence using to and enough by giving you a scenario. So there, here's some example, another example. So number one example is, will you please read Russell? Yes, ma'am. He is too old to play football with the kids. Okay, he is too old to, fa to play football, football with the kids. So, um, the, um, the word used here is the two plus oh. adjective. Oh. Adjective. Yes. How about you, Anthony, number two? Will you please read the number two? I have not get enough money to buy this computer. Yeah, so I, I do not have, I do, I have not got enough money to buy this computer. So he used the word enough plus. What is the money? It can be a noun. Yes. So next, there are too many students in this classroom. So he used too many, and then. Students. Next, I don't have enough time to finish the game today. Okay, so um, in this, um, for the next activity, I hope you guys understand our lesson for today. Do you yes, guys understand it? Yes, yes so, ma'am. So we are just um, 
tackling about some examples using the comparison to and enough. So I want you to um, complete the sentence using to and enough. So you're just going to use to or enough. Okay, so for the first one, um, will you please um, read and answer, Anthony? Um, she's blank, sad this day. I wonder what's wrong. She's too sad. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. So she's too sad these days. I wonder what's wrong. So um, how about the other sentence, um, Russell? We don't have blank sugar. Let's go to the supermarket. I think, ma'am, it is I don't have enough sugar. Let's go to the market. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. So I don't have enough sugar. Let's go to the market. Next, you are driving blank slowly. What do you think is the answer? Two, Anthony? Two? Yeah, two. Let's see. Very good. You are driving too slowly. Okay, next. Will you please read, um, Russell? There are blank many students in this class. It should be smaller. Um... I think it is, there are too many students in this class. It should be smaller. Okay. Okay, very good. So, there are too many students in this class. It should be smaller. How about this one? From Anthony. This test is difficult blank already. Ah, and, sorry, uh, sorry. And sorry, sorry. This test is difficult enough okay i too it's two this test is difficult to already i know it's enough sorry sorry i think it's a typo okay ma next we have blank much pollution in the world so what do you think is the answer it is two ma'am since it is negative okay so we have too much pollution in the in the world. So, do you guys understand our lesson for today? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma oh, yeah. So, those are just the examples of the comparison to and enough. So, that is the continue and this lesson is the continuation of our last topic, which is the rules. So, now we are talking. Uh, we are. Um, I am teaching to you the comparison to and enough using the examples. So that's all for today. Thank you for attending the class. Thank you, ma'am. So I hope you really understand the lesson. So on our next meeting, we are going to talk about um, comparison to and enough using text. Okay, so you should be um, ready reading a text or a um, Sample quotation using two and enough. Okay? Hey, ma okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you for thank you for attending today's class. Goodbye. Hey, ma'am. Um.